Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm the dietitian from Away Station. Today we're making a cauliflower based pizza crust. Um, and you can use any Way Station approved toppings that you like. But to get started, you'll need a head of cauliflower. You'll need one egg, um, possibly some spray. I would recommend using some parchment paper. You'll also need some roasted bell peppers. Check the ingredients. Just make sure there's no sugar added in the ingredient list. There'll probably be at least one gram on the nutrition, but it's all from natural sugar, so that's okay. And then whatever toppings that you would prefer. Um, you also need some mozzarella cheese. Um, we tried to do the 2% and that's in this bowl here all ready to go. And I like to use the McCormick spices. I think it's a good trick. Um, this one had oregano and some thyme leaves, garlic, and it's already measured out, prepackaged, and much less expensive if you don't have good spices already on hand. So it's a little trick. Okay, to get started, you're just going to have to cut the green part off of the cauliflower. So we're going to do that real quick here. And then you're just going to chop it into chunks. So chop that up. Okay. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender at home. That's not a problem. It should work just as well. But um, basically, you're going to come over and process it to make sure that it's um, all chopped up and ready. And once it gets to that consistency, you want to go ahead and put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. That's going to save you time. Um, the recipe calls for it to bake for 20 minutes. If you don't microwave it, it's going to need to cook longer. So if you microwave it, it'll probably only need to cook for about um, 10 minutes instead of the 20 there. So you're going to go ahead and microwave the cauliflower for 10 minutes after you get it blended. We already have ours ready to go here. And what we're going to do now is add the cheese. It's a cup and a half of cheese to two cups of cauliflower. And we're going to also add an egg and the spices. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and get it going. And it's just a mixer. Add my cheese and my egg. And then I have my spices here. I'm going to put those in as well. And I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit. <laughs> paper on it's just a cookie sheet so you don't have to necessarily use a round shaped pizza pan but um, anything will work and it does yield six servings so just keep that in mind when you're making your slices need my spoon all right we're going to just dump this out and i have the oven preheated to 450 degrees so make sure you've got that ready to go nice and hot desire. Of course, the thicker it is, the smaller your pieces are going to turn out. So just keep that in mind. But I think the thinner you get it, the crispier it, it'll be. And um, it's helpful once you get it out of the oven to let it sit for just a minute so it kind of um, gets a little bit more crispy. Because when it's real hot, it's still kind of tender, I guess, not very crispy. Alright, so I'm just trying to get it even here. Almost there. And what we'll do next is make the sauce. What did you 
found in McCormick's spices? They're in the baking aisle at the grocery store, um, and they have tons of different ones. This one actually was for chicken cacciatore, um, but it had the Italian seasonings that you would use in a pizza. Um, but they are so great. I use them all the time for different recipes. So you can really think outside the box with those. So. All right. And the peppers are actually on the same aisle as the pickles. Okay. That makes sense. That's where you find this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. Like I said, since we did microwave the cauliflower first, it will only take about 10 minutes in the oven. And you want to make sure the corners are brown, so when you start seeing that, it's a good indication that it's done. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the sauce. All you need is a blender or a food processor, but it's really simple. You just open the can, pour the sauce in, or the, the peppers in, excuse me. And I already have some made, so I'm just going to do half for now. Make sure my lid's on good. And it's going to be loud for a minute. I think. Not loud. There we go. Alright. And we have the sauce. You can add spices to the sauce if you like it that way, but since we already added them to the batter, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So you're not adding additional cheese to the sauce? Nope, no additional um, cheese to the sauce, but once the um, pizza comes out, we will want to top it off with additional cheese, okay? Um, the recipe actually calls for a half a cup of cheese. I think that since there's so much cheese already in the um, crust itself that I like a little bit less than that, but it's really up to the individual. So um, up to a half a cup of cheese for the topping is fine. And then, like I said before, you can use whatever stage two approved vegetables, or if you want some grilled chicken on your pizza, you can use that. Um, so it's pretty versatile, really. Um, but we're just going to wait for this to get finished, and then we'll see the final product. Okay. 